Hi, Dr. Chenick. Uh, I want to talk about something that is close to me and dear to all of us, and that is a congressional or senatorial candidate in the Democratic Party. Why am I interested in the Democratic Party? Because the republic has to depend on two parties competing against each other. In the Republican Party, we have now Trump Probably he'll get reelected. But the Democratic Party has to think about the future. They can no longer involve themselves with the notion of a uh, Biden or a Bernie Sanders or a Warner. Those people who are self-aggrandizing have spent most of their life only in politics and never really have accomplished anything else. However, let me tell you, I see good news and, and I see a, a wonderful horizon for both the Democrats and the Republicans. What am I talking about? Well, you come up with a young woman by the name of Sal, uh, Martha McSally, who was an A-10 fighter jet combat pilot. She trained at Harvard. She trained at the Air Force Academy. She trained at the War College and was number one at the War College. She then became a congresswoman from Arizona, a senator from Arizona, and probably will run for the presidency in a few years. At the same time, the Democrats have another candidate from the South. His name is Dan McCready from the 9th Congressional District in North Carolina. He went to Duke. He went to Harvard. More importantly, however, he volunteered to serve in Iraq as a Marine Corps captain. He came out, he was promoted, and then he started his own business. And that business was solar farms. Now, what makes this individual different from the past? It's that these young people, young in terms of spirit and age, are interested in committing themselves to the country. They're not just saying they're committed. They actually will commit their lives to the betterment of this society. They're willing to serve our country, either in intelligence or in the military. Ironically, Obama, who had served in our country, never spoke about it. That's his problem. He had served in our intelligence corps, and he was quite good. That was the reason why he was able to get into the social media and understand how to defeat Hillary and others because of the use of the Internet in the intelligence corps. Now, let me see where the opponent is. The opponent of Dan McCready is a young man whom I know here, a guy by the name of Gavin Rollins, a young man. He's a teacher. He comes out of a Christian background. He's conservative. However, he is a Clay County commissioner. And more importantly, in the scholar warrior tradition, he volunteered in the National Guard to serve in Djibouti as captain of military intelligence. Now, why am I saying that's important? Because in the past, we haven't had with Biden or Bernie Sanders, anybody who really was willing to give up his life for his country or her country. In this case, we have two different candidates, Dan McCready from North Carolina, Gavin Rollins from Florida, both of whom have very similar personalities. They're committed. They're serious. They're not self-aggrandizing. They will both be congressmen, and eventually they will turn to be governors of the respective states. And then I predict, ironically, they will match off against each other. Dan McCready from North Carolina and Gavin Rollins from Florida. Let me quote James Carvel, the famous uh, strategist in the Democratic Party. He said, the Democratic Party resembles the oldest and most dysfunctional institution in the world, the Roman Catholic Church, run by 80-year-old people. It's time for the party to change. Good luck. Good night.